Hello everyone, this is Oliver from Neon. Today we are going to talk about our Kukicha sampler. We just released the Kukicha sampler where you can try different Kukicha or uh, Karigana tea, meaning that you have a stem tea sampler of which you can choose from out of four teas. So you have four teas for a fixed price of 9.99 and this is actually the session where I will dive into daily into one of these different teas. Today I want to go into the Karigana, so the highest grade green tea, but first I'm gonna go swiftly through and show you what are the different teas. So we have two uh, Kukichas coming from Sencha, so we have um, uh, the Kukicha um, from Yakushima, which is here, and we have a Kukicha from the farmer Osara. So here Yakushima, very south, so deep in the south, there's an island, um, two hours or even five hours with a slower boat from Kagoshima. Um, you go on this beautiful island, which is a UNESCO heritage, and uh, this tea here comes from the farmer Visso Watanabe, a farmer who tries to produce its tea as close as possible to its original state and not adding too many nutrients to the soil. So he tries really to have the pureness of the tea. Then second one is uh, Mr. Osada. Mr. Osada is a farmer which is situated in uh, Shizuoka or in the region of Shizuoka. This tea is a mountain tea. Uh, for some of you who might have seen the video where we talk about the different soils and this soil is a little bit more rocky. It has a little bit more uh, mix between earth and rocks and stones. So it's a little bit more minerally and a very beautiful site in the, the Isagawa organic village how it is called so um, it is named also organic village because the region where this tea is cultivated is only surrounded by organic farmer and then we have uh, the kukicha from mr sakamoto and the karigana of mr sakamoto mr sakamoto is a farm which is located in the deep south in kagoshima so uh, the very uh, the biggest city in the very south of the main island of japan and he actually does only do Gyokuro, but he normally, when you have a Gyokuro, it's always a Karigane, but he even separates a little bit the lower quality leaves and a little bit more dusty leaves to the Kukicha and the more high grade tea leaves, which you can see here into the Karigane. He and his brother, they do since 1984, Five, they do organic plantation, so they are very well known in the region for a high quality Gyokuro, but also the Karigane is quite a blessing when you are able to try it. So today I will really dive into the Karigane and um, have, a, have a look at how this tea tastes. Then for this, I put the other ones aside. Um, and just focus on the Karigana. I'll take my black Tokonama Kyusu and I have five grams. I have uh, preheated the water on 60 degrees Celsius, so 140 Fahrenheit, and I will pour five grams into my Kyusu. I just add around 150 liter, milliliters of water. Just wait now for 1.5 minutes for this tea to brew. Good, so let's go and pour this one. So you can see it's a very nice milky water. But I will go first before I go directly into the tasting. I'll show you a little bit more the leaves. So what you can see that the leaves are actually very, very beautiful in terms of um, uh, the tightly rolled tea leaves here, for example, a very, very thick and long leaf and uh, with the wider parts, which are the stems. So we have a beautiful dark color of the leaves mixed with the bright spots, which are the stems. So assume that this tea has a little bit of a note of um, kind of a little bit of a hazy note, very slight because I believe that the 
that the strong amount also the high amount of the dark leaves gives a lot of this kind of thinning fruity sweet tones and uh, this we will dive now into so this so much to the leaves then let's go to the brewing first brewing what you can see the leaves so they open up a little bit not fully open yet um, they're still in this in the process of opening up you will see in a later stage that the tea leaves actually become uh, quite open and quite big so that you nearly have whole leaves in uh, your teapot in terms of taste we have a little bit of the sweet corn aroma which is typical for a high uh, highly saturated theanine tea theanine appears a lot with shaded teas and kyokura as some of you might know is the longest shaded tea beside matcha in Japanese green tea. There's a sweet corn aroma, there's a little bit of a spinachy tone. I have um, a lot of fruitiness, a little bit of green apple slightly, but I have a lot of papaya and mango. And a little bit of a hay undertone, so a very slightly minerally tone. Let's see how this one tastes. So, what is nice about the density of the water is when you have a high grade tea, and especially a long shaded tea, it's filled with theanine, and theanine gives a little bit this more thicker tones. It seems also that the essential oils are more concentrated in these leaves. And they give a li little bit this thicker texture really gliding over your tongue this is very nice in terms of texture in terms of taste i have a lot of fruitiness there's a very very slight undertone of the hay so it's very very uh, kind of timid it's delicate it's more prominent on the fruity side It's clearly a little bit of a cashew nut note, a little bit this nearly um, creamy, uh, nearly a little bit buttery uh, undertone, very, very, very exquisite as well with this tea. And we have a little bit of this um, kind of a little bit more savory part. So first it's kind of a sweet, creamy, fruity note, and then it goes a little bit into a more savory with a very, very slight undertone, and a very light tingling on the top of the tongue of the minerals, a little bit of this hayish um, taste notes, but it rests very strong. So it's a 90% on this, on this fruity, creamy side and only a little bit on uh, the other uh, taste notes. So here we are talking about a very fruity, very beautiful tea. It is quite low in caffeine. This is also a pretty nice uh, side note of the Karigane. As it is a mix of stem and leaves, it really has around half of the caffeine of a normal sencha. And that's also a very positive side. So Karigane or Kokicha are also promoted into the macrobiotic um, um, food intake or uh, regime regim, um, around the macrobiotic it is mentioned a lot that kukicha or karigane has a very very good effect on your body it's pretty detoxifying high minerals so uh, quite an interesting tea good let's go into the second brewing of this one here so I really want to show you how um, the leaves evolve over time. Here with the second brewing, very easy. We have uh, only um, 20 seconds to do because the leaves, they're already open. They just will open up more and more and more. And we only need for the second brewing 20 seconds. Now, already in the second brewing, maybe I can show you. 
we can see that the leaves they really start to open up so they get bigger bigger and bigger so this is already quite big leaf uh, so here for example we have quite a big leaf um, which is opened up so they open up more and more from brewing to brewing unfolding and giving more and more flavor to the water and here the sweetness goes down so it um, diminishes a little bit over time in the leaf I got a little bit more of the mineral side, a little bit more of the hay side, which is coming up. The sweet corn is quite low, so the sweet corn flavor or the sweet corn notes I had before are not so prominent anymore. They're still there, but much at a lo much lower level. And a little bit more of the greenish spinachy edamame side is coming. Now in the second brewing, the creaminess goes a little bit away, so this it's a little bit less dense the water, but I have much more prominence of the fruitiness actually, which is quite surprising. So I have a much more of a of kind of a of a, of a broader spectrum of fruits. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit the green apple more prominent, a little bit the mango side, a little bit um even raisin, fresh raisin, green raisin. A little bit of a lighter sweetness. So it had a full body. It was a quite a heavy tea, you could say, in the beginning. And now it's transforming into a much lighter, lighter taste note in terms of the sweetness. So it brings out the brighter sweet tones. which is quite nice. So um, also with the last sip where I had a little bit of sediments, I got a little bit more of the green parts, a little bit more of the spinach parts. And now I'm curious to see how number three will evolve. So let's taste this directly, only 15 seconds. Now the leaves should be fully open. I think I have a good candidate here. So you see that the leaves are really, really open now. So you can really have a look how this tea looks like in comparison before where you did it, there was a tight, the leaves were tighter rolled now they really are open they start to open up very very nicely good that's that then let's go into the tasting still very sweet very on this fruity side so the tea taste through and through fruity so the fruitiness stays really with the tea over time and so really got the raisin is getting like the green raisin is getting quite dominant a little bit of green apple and kind of the mango very sweet flavor goes a little bit down through the whole tea the the stems they don't get too dominant so it's quite interesting in terms of that it is a stem tea normally there's a certain dryness with it um, there's a, it's a little bit more tanninic but with this tea here you don't have it at all so it really stays a very beautiful sweet tea through the whole three steepings i did now And it really stays on the beautiful sweet side so definitely a tea which i personally like a lot and due to the low caffeine and i'm a little bit sensitive on the caffeine side i really like to drink the carigana it's one of definitely of my first choice tea 
in terms of Japanese green tea, even though I like Sencha a little bit better, this tea definitely is, uh, is a very interesting tea. And in the sampler, you will definitely discover different tastes, but here you're definitely in terms of stem tea more in the fruit tea section. Good, this was this, I hope you liked it. And uh, if you have any questions, never hesitate to ask me. I'll be happy to answer them. Bye-bye.